what sports team is the greatest sports team of all time? And we can argue the points of the Chicago Bulls of the 90s. We can argue the points of the New York Yankees of the 50s, the Yankees of the 90s. Uh, You can argue the points of the Boston Celtics of the 50s and the 60s. Uh, You could talk about the Montreal Canadiens of the 50s Mm -hmm. that won five in a row. You could talk about the New York Islanders of the uh, the late 70s and early 80s. I mean, there are so many great teams. So, Mark... I know you're a big sports fan, and we can argue this, and I can argue my points on probably why I would say that some of the teams that you think are the greatest teams of all time are not. Who do you think, or what are some of the teams that really stands out to you of the greatest teams of all time? I think if we're going to talk about errors uh, as opposed to uh, individual years, the Yankees from 47 to 64 rank up there, if not the best. I mean, they only didn't make the World Series in 1948 when Cleveland did, 1954 when Cleveland did. The Yankees still won 104 games that year. Uh, and then in 1959 when the White Sox did. They made the, play, they made the World Series every year, winning it in 47, winning it in 49, winning it in 50, 51, 52, 52 53, 55, uh, 56, mm-hmm. 55 they lost, 58, uh, 61, 62. Two and then they lost 63, 64. So all those championships over that 18-year period was amazing, okay? Uh, I would say the Islanders run from it, – because to me it goes b- back before that. It's greatest so, greatest yeah. playoff run we've ever seen. They won 19 straight playoff series, yeah. they didn't, but none of them went to seven games either. Mm-hmm. Two of them went to five games, right. the five-game series, uh, and none of them went to seven games. The years before, in 78, they lost to a Leafs team that was awful. But they weren't ready yet. Bossy was a rookie. He got his, his butt beat by one of the big guys before they put Clark Gillies on his line to protect him. They should have never lost to Maple Leafs. That's the only time they ever blew a 2 nothing series lead in that 78 uh, semifinals. And then against the Rangers in 79, they're much better than the Rangers, except John Davidson stood on his head mm-hmm. and the Islanders lost. Those two teams were probably better than the four teams that won a Stanley Cup. But by the time they got to 1980, they knew how to win. They could fight with anybody. They stayed up to the Bruins and some of these other teams. So I, I think that when you look at the Islanders over that six-year span, you, you mean Barry Mellows used to argue about that. He would say the Oilers were with Gretzky and, and Curry and all those guys. And I'd say the Islanders could because they could beat you at any type of game. They could skate with you. They could beat you up. They could you know, shut you down as far as great goaltending. They had great special teams, Stefan Pearson, Dave Longevin, um, Kenny Johnson, some of these guys that were on the defensive line, Dennis Pot fan. Uh, so I, I think that would probably be that. In basketball, I like, you see, you could say the Lakers, well, in the 80s, well, they had Magic, and, you know, how good was Magic? Because he had Kareem. Uh, Magic, to me, is probably the best team player um, that I've seen. I love Magic. I would take him the first of any guy in the NBA, only because, you know, there are a lot of guys that can do other things. To me, Magic makes everybody better. So I would say that the Lakers of the 80s, the Celtics, like you said, of the 60s. Bill Russell is probably the greatest winner in the history of sports. Okay, He's one of them. Um, and then in, uh, in but baseball and uh, football, I would, I would say the Patriots run from 2001. What about the 49ers? The, uh, well, uh, for cross decades. How, about the, Phil- how about the Pittsburgh Steelers of the 70s? The Steelers mm-hmm. of the 70s were the greatest team in the 70s. They won four how Super about the Bowls. Oakland Raiders of the 60s? I think the Raiders are the 70s, too. Raiders are the 70s. Uh, yeah. if Raiders are the 70s. The Raiders how about, are very how about good. the Green Bay Packers of the uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s, 40s yeah. 50s, and mm-hmm. 60s? Well, I mean, before the before Super Bowl ever, it's, it's kind of hard. To no, but you, you have to look at it because Lombardi. I, well, I, I, it I was mean, really since it, when, when uh, Lombardi got there in 59, then they turned and were awesome. Mm-hmm. I think Lombardi's probably the greatest coach ever. Probably um, is. But when you talk about. Like, you could argue him or Bill Belichick. I mean, both of them. Yeah, as far as winning. Bill's right uh, there now. With as far him. as winning, absolutely. Bill's right there absolutely. with him. Yeah. One more Super Bowl than anybody. So if, if you take like uh, over a uh, Patriots for 20 years have been good, that's like the Red Wings. You know the Red Wings where they had like almost 100 20, points every year? They had 25 straight years in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. and, and they, they, they weren't just The Yankees winning. have been in – the like, Yankees have, have had a winning record. The Yankees – this I mean, since Yankees, 92, yeah, right. since ninety two. Yeah. So the Yankees have had a winning record since nineteen ninety two. Yeah, and now, they haven't, they've which had is ridiculous. Since they went to this new playoff format, they didn't only make the playoffs what once or twice. Yeah, like, like twice. Times, yeah. I think twice. So uh, those would be my 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 picks. Speedy, what, who do you got? All right, yeah, you just brought up the seventy Steelers. They're going to be my pick for for football. I think they are both talent wise and statistically speaking, a lot of the the best teams you've ever seen. I mean, you, they had the coach and Chuck Knoll. They had. Offensive skill players galore. Franco Harris, mm-hmm. um, 
the receivers, John Stallworth, Lynn Swan. Uh, I forget who the other – Rocky Blyer, the other running back, was very good. So, John Stallworth, um, yeah. yeah. they had everything. Mike Webster on that offensive line. They had talents everywhere, and that defense was fantastic as well. The best mm-hmm. linebacking core, I think, ever. The, yeah, I think – Definitely for sure. Mel Blunt, you had the, the mm-hmm. steel curtain, you had everything really. I think the 76 Steelers were, I think, the best statistical defense that year and one of the best statistical defenses that nobody talks about. And they beat a lot of good teams in those Super Bowls. Minnesota was a very talented team. Mm-hmm. They beat them, I think, they beat them in the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys, obviously, a great team in that era. Mm-hmm. So I think definitely I would put them as my best, again, dynasty in terms of football. For sure, because I think they just had a lot of the same core and beaten a lot of the same teams. Uh, basketball, I, I, I agree with you. I kind of, it, I think it's amazing that the Lakers and Celtics made it as much as they did it to the finals in the, in the 1980s. There were only two years where where one of them didn't do it. That was the 76ers won in 1983, and the Pistons, the Bad Boy Pistons, in '89. That was it. Every other year, the Lakers or the Celtics won the NBA title, and that's pretty impressive to look at when it comes to both of those teams. Just incredible for that era, uh, for for sure. So they're my two for basketball just because it's so amazing. I think the Bulls are more dominant probably, but it's amazing that two teams could be like that for the for the era that they were in. So that they would be my pick for basketball. Hockey, I probably agree with you. It probably is the Islanders. I don't take as much stock into the original six because it's six teams. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I think those are diminished to an extent. We, we were talking about it last week off-air, Mark, mm-hmm. how bad the Rangers were in the original six era. Uh, the Blackhawks for a while, they were up and down. So it was mainly the Canadians and the Leafs it was just the whole time. And it was kind of structured for it that way. So I don't take that as much into account. So I, I, I agree with you. Probably the Islanders are the most dominant when judging that. You could take a look at... Uh, you could take a look at the Red Wings maybe in the 90s and uh, into the 2000s, but I think the Islanders doing it four in a row is the most impressive. And baseball, I would say the murderer's row Yankees. I, mean, I think they're often forgot about, forgotten about in a revolutionary era for baseball. The live ball era beginning, they were that, they were that team. It was all small ball, stolen bases, pitching. Obviously, pitching still mattered, but they didn't have power like they did now and a lot of those yankees in that on those 1920s teams changed the baseball in my opinion and i think are always forgotten about when it comes to the greatest baseball teams ever when it comes to football i would go with the 49ers of the early 80s and the 90s the joe joe montana the offensive line the defensive players that they can all the the greatness that we've seen and we talk about who's the greatest quarterback of all time well they've had two great quarterbacks steve young and joe montana in those years and four championships for joe montana went to kansas city but those 49er teams were absolutely fantastic the 90s cowboys uh what they did in the 90s in the middle of the 90s was absolutely dominance. Emmitt Smith, um, Troy Aikman, uh, Michael Irvin, Deion Sanders. You look at those teams, some of the greatest, uh, really uh, one of the greatest teams assembled in that time. Uh, you, can't, you can't say anything about the Cowboys or bad about the Cowboys because of what they did in the 90s, the dominating team that they were in the 90s. I am not a Cowboys fan, and we know the beef is, but uh, the Cowboys were very dominant. How about the 90s Yankees uh, for baseball? You, you go up and down the Yankees roster and what the Yankees did from 90s, really 96 on, the dominance from 96 and forward. They won five championships uh, in, in all the way th- to, from 96 to 2009. That di- and, and how about the 98 Yankees? That was arguably one of the greatest teams of all time, records-wise, what they did, pitching, ERAs, whips, whatever you want to say, <laughs> hitting, home runs, everything, home record, uh, winning record. That Yankee team was absolutely dominant. So the Yankees of the 90s were absolutely fantastic. And also the Red Sox of the early 2000 era to now. I mean, look how many championships they won in the last couple of years. They won three titles. Um, everybody thought there was the Bambino curse, and then all of a sudden they won as much as they have. Yes, they, they did a little bit of cheating here and there, but nevertheless... Mm-hmm. They were a dominant team and a dominant force with Manny Ramirez and David Ortiz and Pedro Martinez. I mean, this team has been uh, a, a, a wrecking machine in, in the – so they were one of the dominant teams that we could talk about of all time as well with, with the power and the relief pitching and the starting pitching that they had in their rotation. Um, hockey, I, the Detroit Red, Red Wings in the 90s were absolutely amazing. They really were. You want to look at um, Nicholas Lindstrom and Chris Chelios and – and Stevie Eiserman and um, Keith Primo and all the different players that they had on those teams, the Chris Osgoods and the Dominic Hasheks and, and all the different people that they had. Those teams, those Detroit teams, with Scotty Bowman, arguably the greatest coach of all time when it comes to hockey. I mean, those teams were fabulous. I don't think a lot of people remember those teams because I believe 90s hockey was the best 
I believe, in hockey and hockey history with the talent they had in the Hall of Famers that we saw come in and out of hockey in the 90s. So uh, that's a team that really stood out to me. Um, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins of the early 80s and, uh, I mean, the late 80s, early 90s with Yarmir Yager and Mark Recchi and Mario Lemieux and, and, Mar- uh, and Tom Barrasso. I mean, people forget about those teams and how dominant those teams were and, and how great Mario Lemieux was. Wayne Gretzky, the Edmonton Oilers, I mean, of the... Uh, the 70s and early 80s, the dominance of Mark Messier and Grand Fuhr and all these different players that we saw. Wayne, and and, and, and I, we can go up and down some of the Kevin Lowe's and all these Hall of Famers that came out from those Edmonton Oilers teams. That was one of the greatest times when it came to hockey because, you know, who dethroned the New York Islanders was the and, and Edmonton Oilers. They are the ones that dethroned the New York Islanders in that winning streak. So One guy who played for both teams, too, the Oilers and the Penguins, was Paul Coffey. Too. Yes, Paul Coffey was another great player on the great, Edmonton Oilers, one of the greatest AFC. defensemen. Yeah, so uh, those teams. Um, uh, basketball, well, you can't really argue this. The 90s Chicago Bulls. I mean, the last dance, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, um, Rodman, uh, all the players, Phil Jackson, arguably the greatest basketball coach of all time. I mean, you can't really argue. And, and even the L.A. Lakers of the, the early, late 90s, early 2000s mm. with Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, the yeah. dominance that they put out there, three championships in a row mm-hmm. with the, the Diesel and, and uh, the Mamba. I mean, those were great teams. And the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah. How about the San Antonio Spurs That's with Tim Very Duncan indeed. and Ginobili and Parker and Popovich in the teams and Kawhi Leonard, yep. those championship teams. So those were – and David Robertson the last mm-hmm. uh, at the end of his career. Yeah. So those teams were great too. I mean, you can argue those points, but those San Antonio Spurs, they could have been the greatest team of all time. Yeah. Um, uh, baseball, uh, we just went through baseball, the Yankees um, and, the, and the Red Sox. Uh, football, we said – you said the 49ers. 49ers, yep. And and the Cowboys. Um, did I say hockey? Yeah, I, yeah, I said hockey. Said Edmonton, hockey. Um, right. Edmonton uh, and, and then the NBA. NBA, I said the Chicago Bulls. So, I mean, you can argue, but I think the greatest sports team of all time, and, and, you, can, and, and you can say this and you can argue the greatest win streak of all time was the 1947 Yankees. From 1947 all the way to the 60s. That team was the greatest, I mean, the greatest team assembled. I, I know there was no free agency, and there was none of that. So a lot of people are going to say, well, there was no free agency. So you can't really argue that. So if you want to take that away, you, you can move up, you can move up a, a couple of years and you go to the 90s Yankees, which uh, the 90s Yankees were so dominant. Go look. And they had to beat some good teams. They, you, you, you go up and down some of the rosters they had to beat. And the pitching squads and, and the pitching staffs that they had. And, and really, they completely changed what bullpens were. Go look at Mariano Rivera and Wit and and, and Wit John Wetland and, and John Wetland and and the players that and then they added uh, Nelson and and all the different players and Stanton that they had from from the pitching staff they create they re- recreated uh, what a bullpen needed to do in the playoffs to win championships they revolutionized the game and, and changed the game from bullpen to starting pitching so um, those Yankee teams were great too but. And, and, and you could say the Patriots, too. I mean, this, this run was a fantastic run for the New England Patriots. I, I mean, 20 years of, of greatness. Uh, they were in the AFC East, and that's my argument with them, the fact that they were in a very weak division. But you can't take away from championships and Bill Belichick and what he has done uh, with a team that uh, with a bunch of different players and uh, with one quarterback. And, uh, again, I'm not going to take away the greatness of what Tom Brady is. I never said that he wasn't great. I just don't think he's the greatest. That's my argument. But I, you can argue your points. But I think the greatest team of all time is those Yankees teams. I mean, the, the 1947 Yankees and all the way to the 1960s. I mean, those teams were Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, Yogi Berra. Uh, I mean, I, if I go, go through their rosters, they're all Hall of Famers. I mean, I, I would say out of the 25, 20-player 20, 20 roster that they had, I would say about 15 or 14 of them Hall of Famers. I mean, uh, it's incredible what the Yankees have done in, in such a, a long spurt. And it's the greatest franchise in professional sports. Yeah. It's, it's not even a question. Uh, 